Hey guys, this is Frederick, and today in our news, we go first to Switzerland, where two Russian spies have been accused of spying against the anti-doping agency and not only spying but actually cyber attacking it and you know we see that more and more now like the link between cyber attacks and geopolitics they have also been accused of attacking a laboratory also based in switzerland uh, which was um, doing research about who was behind the attack of the agent and the poisoning of the agent Sergei Skripal in England, you probably remember that, and they are also in charge of looking at the use of chemical weapons in Syria. So you see how cyber attacks can very easily be um, used by governments and in fact, uh, of course, some of those are alleged, so there is not proof for everything, but, uh, you know, like the uh, Bern authorities, the Swiss authorities are looking into it. And just also to see that you could be a neutral country, uh, but still be attacked, you know, I mean, Switzerland is the home of many international organizations, and they are also being attacked. Next news, we're going to the web, and the famous HTTPS, that you guys probably already know about in your brother, the little s, and sometimes the lock with the green color. Well, this is all good, right? I mean, you think that if you look at that, then that means you're secure, right? Well, think again, you know, yes, to some extent it's good, and it's absolutely important to have the HTTPS and to make sure when you go on a website that that's what you see, right? But that's not the only thing you should look for. In fact, um, you know, 80% of users think that just because the S is there and the lock, that means they're secure on the web. And that's not the case, actually, because you know what? You could have a website that looks legitimate, that have the S, that has some kind of encryption, and yet it's a phishing website. So what the S does is really showing you that there is some kind of protection, some kind of encryption of the communication between your computer, between uh, your browser, and the server and the web page that you're accessing. But it doesn't guarantee you that the web page that you're accessing is actually not a malicious one. You know the phishing attacks when they pretend to be something they're not? Well, actually, already 25% of those phishing websites, they use HTTPS as well. So you know what? The bad guys, they use HTTPS as well. So just don't trust that thing, you know? It's good, but it's not enough to have it. All right, and remember, be safe online and offline.